know that Marty realizes who he's trying to play around with? Not at all. Do I think that he realizes? So we're going to do something here because he decided to align himself with the scumbag Nader El Shami, who I happen to have an open case with. So let's let's do a little Marty. Let's do what Marty would do, huh? Let's do that. This this is what Marty would do, right? Seattle Police and Fire Department. If you have a life-threatening emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Otherwise, listen to the following options. If you need a police officer or to make a police report, press 1. If you need a rap Wait while I transfer your call. Hi from Police and Fire, Cat 238. Hi, how are you tonight? Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Listen, I'm actually calling from Canada, so I have a little bit of a sensitive subject. Um, I'm actually a process server. Um, I want to give you my num my number here, so um, I'm going to give you my my identification number. Um, so just hold on one moment, please. Okay, I'm just going to mute something on this end. Um, what I'm calling about actually is you have a resident uh, in Akron, Ohio there. Um, I have a open criminal case on somebody in my um, country, in my prop. Well, he's in Montreal. Um, due to some sensitive um, defamatory information that he has, has said I have uh, given him, which is untrue. He says that I gave him inappropriate nude pictures and it's just, it's not true. So I opened a police case. I warned this person who currently is on a live stream right now, stating that he's going to give these non-existent pictures out to my work, to my husband's work, my husband's colleagues. And I said to him, listen, if I were you, I would stop what you're doing right now because I already have an open police case and I don't have a problem traveling to Akron, Ohio to deal with this guy now. Now, I'm sure you've dealt with him. He goes by the internet name uh, Music Biz Marty and Chance Wilkinson, I guess his name is Cyrax, has had a lot of problems with him. Like, with, granted, he's a scumbag as it is. But I understand his name is Nicholas Beagler. Um, so I need to know what can be done, what you guys can do on your end. Because listen, I've had my career for 13 years and I'm not dealing with internet scum who's going to play these games with me. So like, are you wit like familiar with this guy? Am I calling the right place? Um, vaguely, yeah. Yeah, vaguely. I, I figured as much. I figured as much because yeah. like, listen, I, I entertained a little bit of conversation with this guy uh, because I was trying to get some information. Um, I have, uh, you know, he, he was talking to the guy I have the open case on. So I thought if I can get some information to serve that guy, that'll be great. So I talked to him. I strung him on a little bit, but then he starts wanting to demand information from me and blackmail me with, you know, fake nudes that this guy says he has. And he doesn't have on me. And if he had them on me, he couldn't be sending them around anyway. That's against the law. But this guy, he doesn't seem to understand that. I think he thinks he's above the law. And if you guys are able to, like, get in touch with him, because I have zero problem having my work get involved now. Because it's defamatory to my job. And it's defamatory to me and my career. So, like, he seems like a menace. Okay, so, um, this, just to clarify a couple things, mm -hmm. um, so Nicholas is the person that you're having the problem with, at, Right, at this present moment, yes, because now okay. he's threatening and me, uh, and, yeah. That's the one whose YouTube name was Marty, M Music right? is Marty, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Marty. and I know okay. that he's... You I'm sorry. Okay, do you know an address for him? I don't know an address right now, but somebody said that they would get me his address. I don't currently know the address. I know it's in Akron, Ohio. Um, I just don't have it with me right now. I'm actually working a double, and somebody happened to just say that he was on live stream talking about me right now. And I was like, oh, I have to stop and 
deal with this now. And I called him and I warned him. I gave him fair warning. And he, I think they think that I don't have that career. I think they think it's because I have a stupid YouTube that I, I have an, a bit of an appearance that I put on so that I can get information so that I can serve people that I need to serve. Okay. Um, so from what it sounds like to me, especially without an address, I just don't know that there's anything that we can do. Um, right. I'll get the address. I a hundred percent will get the address. But what, what I want to know is like what the police is going to do about this guy. Like he does this all the time. Nightly he goes on threatening people. He calls tow trucks on family members. He calls prostitutes to family members homes. Like he, he has said, oh, I'll find your address. I'll find the address of your parents, things like that. Um, this is what he does. So what are you guys going to do about that? Because like, I also don't have a problem going, like, and I'm not saying anything. I'm not upset with you, but I don't have a problem going to the paper. Like, I don't have a problem making a big stink about this because this guy really, really needs to be dealt with. Well, the tricky part here is that um, the crime that is happening technically would be within your jurisdiction right. um, as the victim. Right. So you would have to go... I have. I called. Through, I called. I, I, know, I know you yeah. started. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, my recommendation to you would be to follow up with okay. your local jurisdiction and right. give them an update. Right. Now, can I get your... Can I get... To do, yeah. Can I get your name? I'm sorry. Can I get your name oh, again? Uh, my, tech, my tech number. Perfect. Um... um and then if there's anything that we need to do on is there our like, end, um, is there somebody I could to locate an address? Then yeah. Oh, I'll give you an address for sure. Us. Okay, so, so I can have the police station contact you. I can give you the open, um, like file I have on on the Nader El Shami. Um, I have an open file on him. He's he's currently up on an SA charge for court, so they're waiting in hopes to be able to lump on some extra time for him if so that's why i'm waiting on what i'm doing but i mean he's gonna know that now um which is fine um but i need to know like I i'd like to get the news involved about what this guy does nightly on his channel like is it is it possible to get a name somebody you recommend that i can talk to uh, that is not something that I have any knowledge about myself. Okay, so maybe like just the the um, just calling around to I maybe somebody. I think that would be something local. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But I'm talking about he. I, I I'm in know. Canada, so he's in right. Akron, Ohio, where you are. He's doing this nightly. He's calling these places, doing this. Like I understand. Like I'm sure if you were to look, like I'm sure you're going to get some. I know that there are some people that made some police reports already here in like Ottawa um, area because he did this to somebody whose family is in Ottawa very very recently I've downloaded all of his videos so I have the live streams and everything downloaded um, I just wonder am I gonna get more pull if I get my boss involved because like he's a sheriff so if I get if I get him involved is that gonna give more pull here because I, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't like want to. Like I said, that, that's really more of a question for your local jurisdiction because right. that's where the crime is occurring. Right. So I'll call back tomorrow with, you know, like I'm going to be at my job and I'll call back tomorrow with, you know, my boss who can, you know, maybe have the police. I don't know. Maybe I'll go to the police station tomorrow and just have them. Because what he's doing is just it's ridiculous and I don't have time for it and I'm sure you guys don't have time for it either but I will say this if if he starts any more crap if he decides to call one of my family members or whatever like I 100% will get on a news broadcaster and I'll be like listen I called Akron police I let them know what's going on and nothing happened nothing was done and I'm saying that because this guy does this nightly and I'm sure you've got calls about him and I'm just wondering why nothing is getting done and I'm frustrated no I hear that I would be frustrated if that was mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry I can't give you a more concrete answer. Right. And I can't be more helpful. But you are answer, aware. You, like you, said, who I'm speaking of, you I'm, are familiar I'm with, familiar correct? I'm familiar with who they right. are. Right. Good. Uh, good. Good. But, like I said, this, 
Mm -hmm. You have to start within your local jurisdiction. Perfect. And you need I have no problem. I have no problem doing that. I will 100% okay. have somebody do that. Um, is there somebody? Does he already have a file open? Is there somebody I can ask when I have the police call or have? Are and they going to know? They'll know what to do. They'll this, know. This is, a, okay. this is a standard policy. Okay. Um, so it, they will know what to do. If there's something that needs to happen on the Akron end, your mm -hmm. jurisdiction will know how to contact us and who to talk to. Perfect. That's perfect. So I will be doing that. And I, I really hope something is done because, like I said, I will. <laughs> I have no problem making a really big noise about this. And, and I will make a okay. really, really big noise about it. So... Yeah, um, like like I said, Sire, the the Chance Wilkinson dude, he's scum as far as I'm concerned, so I could care less what he does about him, but this other stuff that he is now starting, mm, no, it's it's not going to fly with me. So I will well, like be I said, back. I'm really sorry yeah, that, yeah. that, you know, that's happening. I, I hear that you're frustrated. Mm. Um, again, I'm sorry I can't be more helpful no, right now. No, you were enough help. Moment, but... No, just giving me that information um, was fine enough i will 100 uh have somebody call you back tomorrow um i'd like to record the call and then i'm gonna go to the paper probably because this has gone on long enough and so just just so you're aware i i will be okay. for sure doing that um okay. it's well, we will this internet stuff that he's doing it's not helpful and yeah, i'm I sure yeah well, we, we will talk to you then. I'm sorry, I have Perfect. to go. I have some 911s coming in. No problem. Um, Thanks a lot. You have a great rest of your night. You too. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. I don't play. <laughs> you serious?